to recover from the crisis, this pandemic, I think there will be opportunities for us to make money. No? Kung may tapaw ka at may kang inikita pa rin, even lumit yung bonus mo, um, okay. kung ano man yung take home pay mo dahil mas kuwanting ginagasas natin, invest mo yung portion na yun. No? If, if you can invest in the stock market, ang marunong Merry Christmas! Monday, Christmas Monday. Um, last working Monday of the year. Tama ba? Yes. Arman Benko po, welcome to Peace Abilities here in CBRC.tv. Sana maayos ang naging Pasko nyo. Uh, mamaya pagkwentuhan natin yan. Hindi lang itong uh, nangyaring kapaskuhan. Paano kayo nagganda? Paano kayo nag-celebrate? Ano ang nangyari sa 2020? sa larangan ng business, economy, finance, and investments. Kasama natin, siyempre, Jovi Concepcion. Jovi? Hi! Good evening! Magandang, ano, magandang gabi sa lahat. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year! I'm trying to get the same vibe, excitement, and the shasam nung first Monday, working Monday of uh, yes. 2020. Ngayon, last Monday na of 2020. So, uh, kaya minabuti natin our topic for uh, tonight. Itong nakaraang 2020, ano ba tayo naapektuhan? At dahil nasa feasibility tayo, uh, paano tayo naapektuhan sa larangan ng negosyo, ekonomiya, uh, kaperahan, pananalapi, at sa ating uh, pagustuhang magpalago or investment. Uh, papasukin ko na uh, Jovi. Uh, let me introduce our guest uh, for tonight. Sige, sir. He has a long-standing uh, career in asset management spanning over three decades. Uh, mm-hmm. Nag-umpisa siya, no? 10 years old pa lang yata siya. And a proven Kaya nga, bata pa lang. best-in-class track record in managing diversified multi-asset class investment portfolios. Mm-hmm. Um, Paikliin ko na lang, simply, ito ang dapat nating kausap, lalo na for our topic tonight. Gusto nating malaman, yes. kamusta ba? Ano ang nangyari? Uh, ngayong 2020 sa larangan ng ekonomiya, uh, negosyo at investments. Let's welcome in Peaceabilities, CBRC.TV PJ Garcia. PJ? Hello, good evening uh, Arman, Jovi. Uh, good to be here and uh, thank you for inviting me in your show. Yes, thank you. Ha. Uh, uh, thank you, pitong sir. Taon na yata, pitong taon na yata kitang iniimbitahan sa iba't ibang uh, <laughs> program natin. Uh, thank you at uh, pinagbigyan mo kami ngayon, PJ. Uh, Sobrang uh, hindi man pa sir, PJ. B- busy person. Uh, uh, sa'yo ba malaki rin yung epekto o significant sa'yo yung last working Monday of the year? Uh, good question. Uh, actually, today, uh, well, as an investor, every morning, ginagawa ko talaga, I look at the, the markets uh, before the opening. Uh, so that's how I start my day. So this is the second last working day. So I think the stock market can eat and uh, <laughs> look at our, the, our investments. Uh, for, and you know, we're looking forward to hopefully a better 2021 no? after a, uh, a very, shall we say, very eventful and interesting 2020. No? I mean, sabi nga nila, it's a... Uh, parang once in a lifetime uh, right. event no uh, and and i think it is once in a lifetime no so uh, i don't know how we survived 2020 hari eh. i'm saying two but yeah. so far so uh, uh, i lost yata 18 pounds since wala nung pandemic eh. wow. <laughs> so, huh? Huh? Talaga? parang ako din pala so, yeah. so i was like 18 pounds heavier pa before the pandemic so Siguro kasama na din yung stress tsaka yung ano, pare, yung uh, stress sa markets and uh, even though I'm working from home, diba, iba rin yung stress pag work from home eh, di ba? Yes, totoo, yeah. totoo, sir. Actually, we started a new business during this pandemic, no? And uh, even my friend, my friends and relatives na sabi sa akin nila, parang 
uh, PJ, you're crazy, but 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 can you ng business or uh, your new gig in this pandemic, mm-hmm. no? Yeah. And kahit ako, di ko rin may may stay na mabuti. Basta parang it's my parang gut feel na rin, no? Na mm-hmm. I have to start something na uh, some new, no? Uh, Ito, yan, sir. And, and uh, yeah, together with my business partner, si Sir Raymond Rupina, we start uh, a new uh, firm called Grow Capital Partners. Grow Capital Partners. Ano okay. ano ito PJ? Uh, Grow Capital Partners. Successful, connected, trusted. Ah, ako ah, nagresearch ako pare ah. Ma- uh, pero wait lang sir, bat in lang ako sa dalay dahil na pag-usapan natin yung regarding sa investment si sir. Dahil uh, ginagay daw ko ni sir Arman, sir PJ para malaman mo po na ginagay niya ako sa lalo na ngayon. Dahil next year na papasok na ang ano at 2021 nandiyan ka para sabihin sa amin kung maganda ba mag-invest or not for 2021 kasi ako parang nai-interest na rin akong mag-invest for next year bilang andiyan yeah. yung aking mentor na si Sir Armand. Abangan niyo sa aming next episode yan. Uh, very different ng ngayon ang uh, ang mga TV programs ito social media. Mm-hmm. We encourage uh, PJ Uh, audience participation. We would like to ask our uh, audience, um, kayo, paano kayo naapektohan ng uh, 2020? O anong epekto sa inyong kaperahan? Sa inyong kaperahan? Uh, itong dumaan na 2020, though may apat na araw pa, sana naman, sana naman, eh, wala nang uh, uh, delubyo na mangyari. Eh, PJ, bago tayo pumunta dun sa investing in 2021, Paano ba? Paano ba naapektuhan ng bansa ang ordinaryong Pilipino sa iyong pananaw, sa mga nag invest nitong 2020, yung mga nagnegosyo? Paano ba naapektuhan in general ang, uh, ang kaperahan ng Pilipinas? Pilipinas lang muna siguro. Yes sir, lalo na ngayon may COVID, di ba sir? Actually, nag-upisa tayo ng 2020, medyo ano rin eh, uh, shall we say, Uh, ominous rin, no? Kasi nagkaroon ng taal. If you remember, there was a taal yes. volcano. January, yes, sir. January. Oo. Uh, January lang yan, no? So we started the year in a... Kung baga parang medyo ominous siya, ano nga, eh, parang sabi nga, parang it's a sign already na of the things that are to come, ano? And uh, who would have known when we entered noong 2020, no, noong January, no, uh, ending 2019, that magkakaroon tayong ganito ng global pandemic pandemic no yes. so in fact I, i remember nga late last year i was actually uh, talking with a friend no sa uh, we were playing golf and and i i distinctly remember ito this was before christmas sinabi niya na pj mag-ingat kayo uh, mayroong virus na umiikot sa china no mm-hmm. and it's been a chinese no? so i didn't mm-hmm. you know put anything to that parang okay maybe it's another flu virus or something like that sa hindi naman parang ano katulad ng SARS no I, I don't know kung naalala pa nito siguro mga baby pa yun oh yun din sir natatanda yun yung teacher pa si 2003 2003 2003 elementary so na. we had the, the, the SARS virus no if you remember that and nagkaroon ng impact yan in our uh, regional economy in our local economy in our regional economy and global economy so kumi na yung trade uh, bumagal yung investments yung trade so be- The economy went uh, to a recession in time na yon, no? And the Philippines also, since we're still an emerging market, developing, mm-hmm. affected on it, no? mm-hmm. And um, compared to what happened in 2003, 2004, mga 12, mga ano yun, almost two years din yun, um, iba to eh. Yung 2020, yung impact sa ekonomiya natin, eh, tsaka sa ating mga financial markets, mas grabe. No? In fact, if you put everything into perspective, I'm an economist by training. No? I looked at the arm and I go major up sa, sa, sa bed and on and then on. And I worked in CRC, uh, uh, now called University of Asia in the Pacific. So we were looking at the no, um, tung mga developments at mga macroeconomic ano, uh, indicators. And if you look at yung GDP growth natin no, mm-hmm. in the first nine months, it's actually negative. Uh, 10%, no? Around negative 10. So, ibig sabihin nun, compared to last year, yung parehong, ano, same nine months of last year, 10% na contract yung ekonomiya natin, no? Contract, ibig sabihin nun, lumiit, umi- uh, lumiit yung ekonomiya, meaning, 
imbis na nagkaroon ng economic activity or growth in economic activity, nagkaroon ng contraction, no? or what you call a recession, quote-unquote, no? in, in technical terms. Ano yung sabihin ng recession? Ano yung sabihin, um, bumagal yung ekonomiya, yung aktividades ng, ano, ng uh, ating uh, trade and commerce, uh, investors na natakot sila, no? mag-invest sa market, sa economy. So, ano nangyari? Parang nagkaroon ng Uh, yun nga, as they say nga in, ano, in economics, parang the, yung animal spirits na wala, no? Parang mm-hmm. lahat medyo naging, what do you call this, parang naging conservative and, and yun nga, hindi, hindi gumastos at hindi lang. And yung gobyerno na lang natin actually, if not for the government, uh, ang, ang, ang ating gobyerno na lang talaga yung nag spend ng malaki sa, sa economy eh. Almost every sector in the economy actually contracted, no? in, in, except for a few. So, talagang grabe yung impact. In fact, this is the worst economic contra- contraction since uh, the mid-80s, no? during the the the, the debt Gosh. crisis no? that we had no? during the mid-80s. Uh, and um, uh, in fact, mas, mas negative 7% ng contraction ng economy natin. No? Now, we're on track to to have a negative 10% double digit economic ano, uh, negative growth no uh, for the year yung uh, na, economic uh, pa- talagang ano no uh, parang gulo hindi naman hindi gulo eh, yung parang uh, apektado negatively ang ating ekonomiya um tanong sa atin to ha ng isang ng bata na nakaka-arithmetic na sabi niya buti hindi tumaas ang mga presyo ng bilihin yung hindi okay. nagdoble, bakit ganun? Uh, humirap ang buhay, ang ekonomiya, bumagal ang ikot. Nasaan yung konsepto ng taas ng presyo ng bilihin, inflation na tinatawag nyo, uh, mga ekonomista? Bakit hindi naman siya dumoble? Bakit ang gasolina, bumaba pa? Yung presyo ng bigas, hindi naman naging isang daang piso, bawat kilo. Uh, buti na lang, no? Buti na lang. Pero... Uh, ano ang magandang nangyari o magandang ginawa para hindi mag-shoot up yung mga presyo ng bilihin? Kaya ha, tuloy magkakagulo na at buti hindi mm-hmm. nangyari. Magandang, magandang tanong yan, Arman. No? Ang ibig sabihin yan, ang, 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 uh, ang nangyari ngayon this year, because, yun nga, yung mga consumers mo, households and firms, yung mga corporates, medyo nag ano sila, no? nag- uh, So, so, parang nagtipid, no? Hindi ka pumato. O sa'yo, nakatakot lahat eh. And remember, nung nag-start ng, ano, yung lockdown natin ng ETQ, yung no? lockdown natin ng part, which is actually one of the stringent, most stringent, and longest lockdown in the world, no? Mm, yeah, um, tayo talaga. Actually, no? Ginawa ng gobyerno natin. So, in fact, yung US nga, nag-o-open na sila mid mm-hmm. late, late April, nag-o-open na nila economy natin. Tayo, sarado pa rin tayo sa end of May. Eh. I don't know if you remember that, no? Uh, yeah. So, two and a half months, almost three months, ano tayo, lockdown, no? So, imagine yung mga, yung mga kumpanya, no? yung mga SMEs, no? yung mga SMEs na, na talagang, saka yung micro SMEs, sinamahan talaga. So, mm-hmm. ngayon, so, yung mga consumers mo, hindi ko magastos. And therefore, yung demand, lumiit. Uh, uh, yung supply natin, hindi na bago yung supply, yung production, uh, uh, yung demand mo, nag-strength. Dumami. Dumami. Na-realize na, na, na silang, walang buwibili ng kanilang goods and services. Na ganun na. Diba? Yeah. Medyo nag-chop-chopping ka. Okay, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Basically, what you're saying, the, the uh, universal economic principle of supply and demand, humina yes. ang demand dahil kinulong tayo sa bahay, hindi naman oh. nila mataas na ang presyo. Uh, kasi nga, wala na mong... Uh, ah, okay. Pero uh, definitely, apektado ang trabaho, no? Ang yes. Yes. Trabaho. Maming nawalan. Si Jovi, I hope Jovi, oh. you will not... Ano, oh, sir, wala. Oh, sir, wala. Sir, wala. Uh, Doon sa oh. tinatanong natin, paano ka naapektohan? sa kaperahan. Ako talaga sobra ako na apektuhan kasi 
especially number one, nawalan na ganun ng work. Hindi naman nawalan. So, parang leave without pay ng starch March, parang pinapili kami. Kung tutuloy ba kami sa trabaho habang pandemic, or iisipin ba namin yung sarili muna namin. Pero syempre, dahil ako, takot din ako that time, at saka parents ko, wala rin dito. So, mas pinili ko, naligtas yung sarili ko, at nakulong pa ako sir, sa island. So, parang yung savings ko din, kahit pa paano, uh, may lumalabas pa unti-unti, pero alam mo yun, sir, limited eh. Limited yung capacity, kaya sobrang naapektuhan. Pero yun oh. na nga, sir, yung tanong ko din, pa, sa tingin mo ba, sir, medyo normal na tayo ngayon? Nakakabawi na ba tayo? At yes. At kailan ba, sir? O, oh, kailan ba, sir? Kasi parang looks like, ano, sir, normal na, lata, na yata lahat eh. Kung titignan mo, pag nasa labas tayo, di ba, sir? Uh, yung mga business ba, sir, at saka employment, ba, sir, magiging okay na this coming next month or next coming year? Para kagay, sa kagaya ko rin, sir. Basahin muna natin, uh, PJ, bago mo sagutin yung uh, question, ha? Um, ng mga sure. nag-comment natin, paano sila uh, naapektuhan nitong uh, 2020. Ito, coming from Monica Pagaw. Due to pandemic, we have limited movement. Fewer employment opportunities. Oh, tama ka, Jovi. A lot of people lost their jobs and some closed businesses. It also affected society, global economy, and even population. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah? Population? Bakit? Ano yan, sir? Ano yan? Dahil naka... Naka-lockdown, uh, sir. Naka-lockdown. Naka yes, sa Mendoza. Uh, naapektuhan ang aking kaperahan sa magandang paraan, PJ. Sa magandang paraan daw. Natuto okay, ako okay. aking patipid pumasok sa iba't ibang negosyo natuto din ako kung paano mag-share lalo na mga taong lubos na nangangailangan oh very good coming from Yasa Mendoza so uh, from Kate Villarasa hello po Sir Arman dahil po sa naranasan natin ngayong pandemya maraming tao ang nawalan ng trabaho di nagiging stable ang kanilang trabaho pero kinakaya pa rin nilang bumangon para sa kanilang mga pamilya para sa akin sa ngayong 2020 mas natuto ako mag-ipon maging masino, maging matyaga. <laughs> yeah, very good. Uh, Kate, uh, Stephanie Vin Flores, ngayong nasa kalagitnaan pa rin tayo ng pandemya, hindi naman natin makakaila na marami pa rin ang hindi nakaka-adjust ngayong new normal. Marami rin ang kumpanya at hindi ko nabasa, uh, lumiit. <laughs> um, marami, ano ang, marami pa rin ang hindi nakaka-adjust ngayong new normal. Marami yes. rin ang kumpanya at iba-ibang ayan na, bababa. <laughs> at iba-ibang establishment to ang nasara o nabawas ng tauhan. At dahil dito, marami rin ang mamamayang Pilipino ang nawalan ng trabaho at pinagkakakitaan. Dahil dito, nasubukan ang diskarte ng bawat Pilipino at karamihan ay mas natuto tayong tumayo sa sarili nating mga paa. Mas natu- na- ito, natuto tayong magtipid at maging matalino sa mga paggamit ng ating pera. Tama yun, actually. Okay, PJ, uh, yeah. meron obviously may negative, no? Uh, yun nga, eh, kay, katulad kay Jovi, no? Uh, wala ng trabaho, source of income. But uh, katulad ng sabi nung isa, si Yesa Mendoza, uh, meron ding biglang palet, di ba? Uh, mm-hmm. Kailangan kong umanap. May kumapasok. Uh, ito si Jovi, hindi, mo na, hindi ko na kwento sa'yo, PJ. Uh, Maraming career, yeah, sir. Day job. Tapos meron siyang mga sideline na artista yan, pare. Oh. Artista. Oh, <laughs> Bilang alam tayo, sir. Eh, pita, piti sa, sa industry nila. Siyempre, lockdown, walang mga shooting. Hmm. Na iba. Uh, ngayon, she's active in social media. Media. Uh, More on media social media ako bumabawi, sir. Bigo, Pumo, and the likes, no? Uh, ito. Laika. Uh, Laika. Um, ano, what's your take here na... Okay. Ano ba? Uh, uh, may may pag-asa ba? Meron bang you know? Of course, we we will all say no. Habang may buhay, may pag-asa. Kailangan mm-hmm. tumayo. Pero anong take mo rito? Uh, looking at at uh, the real numbers. Yeah. You know? Okay. Magaganda yung tanong niya. Talagang gaya yeah. niya. Pwede niya. Yes, sir. Uh, sir, sir, sir. Para talagang ano? At talagang timely yung anong question na na uh, mm-hmm. para ano ba yung ating magiging kinakupasan no, after this ano, no, itong crisis, pandemic crisis natin? And I think one word, no, I can just uh, think of one word na, no, the word, uh, the word uh, resilient. No? I think the Filipino is very resilient no, in crisis. Siguro sa rin na tayo sa mga 
Di ba, Arman, naalala ko ng 80s, 90s, and mga part ng 2000s. Yung puro boom and toss yung ating economic growth, ano? Yeah, yeah. Siguro, uh, I think, ng Pilipino, pero uh, ako, I grew up, we grew in that kind of uh, in macroeconomic environment. So, nung tinamahan tayo nitong pandemya, so itong grabbing crisis, parang, again, parang sanay na tayo, no? We were parang always getting, ano, parang, We're always positive, preparing, parang hoping for the best, but preparing for the worst, no? And uh, may nagsabi na itang, ano eh, parang U.S. Uh, uh, banker, no? He was quoted as saying, uh, quote and quote, no? parang don't let a good crisis to waste. Ano yung sabi? Again, 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 again. Don't let a good crisis to waste, no? So, ano yung sabi na? So, in every crisis, there's always opportunity. Yun ang sinasabi lang yan. No? And yung mga Chinese, yung word for crisis is the same as the word for opportunity. Mm. Magkapareho na yung character na yun. No? So, I think that's why we're seeing this, ano, parang medyo maraming positive developments na nangyari. Yung stock market natin, Arman, no? from a low of 4,000, close to 4,000 index level in around the uh, the late March. Yung index natin at 7,300 uh, this month. Mag-dobo. 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 We're still yeah. negative year to date. No? Pero konti na lang. We're just 10% away. And uh, mag-break even na yung PSEI. No? Thank God. And, and tsaka, going back to yung may comment kanina about uh, you know, napilitan mag-save. No? Yung, yeah, yung yeah, kung yeah, yeah. this price yeah. is natutong mag-ano, mag-save. mag-save. Alam mo, sa totoo lang, yung household na, ako sa inyo, Armand, no? Joby, ako yung spending pa this year. Pero, parang, na-realize ko, una-una, hindi naman natin kailangan ng sobrang daming mga bagay pala. Alam mo yun? Yung parang we should be happy with what we have. Yung, yung sabi nga nila, what, yung needs versus wants ba? Yes, parang, yes. <laughs> parang tayo wants. wants siguro, no? And I think, yes, si Joby, exactly. ito, baka... Yan sa first topic namin. First topic namin yun yung Sir Arman. Di ba? Yung pala, yung needs na importante, no? Kaysa yung want. And, and I think that contributed to a lot of these na talk about, yun na, savings. And, yung nagsasave tayo, saan mo na lang yung savings mo? Alam, ilagay mo na sa ilalim ng una ng kama mo, di ba? I mean, of course, you have to put that cash or savings to work. No? And ako, pan manager ako, investor ako. That's my job, no? Yeah. Paano mga panagoy yung pera, no? How to invest it. No? And, and nakita ko yung opportunity na, uy, yung index natin, beginning of the year, 7,800, no? Biglang bumagsak siya hanggang 4,100. In one day, the stock market, in Mar- nalala ko yun, March 19, Peace of St. Joseph. Very, ano, talagang red letter dito, ano, sobrang lang ng bagsak, 25% intraday drop, no? Mm-hmm. One fourth of the index went down in value. So, imagine na lang yun, lahat ng mga blue chip companies na alam nyo, SM, Ayala, San Miguel, oh, lagapak, no? Bagsak na lang yan. Walang, 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 you know, walang, walang in-spare na blue chip or company na talagang, whether it's a good company or not so good, lahat mo bagsak. Pero yun na nga, kung hindi nga natin, kasi siya, from the benefit of hindsight, parang nung bumili pa na dapat tayo nung time na bumabagsak yung markada nun, itong stock market natin, malaki yung ating kinita ngayon. Diba? Correct, correct. Oh, correct. Sir PJ, masasabi mo po ba na by next year or next month, maganda na or okay na stable na yung econ- economy natin? Okay. Uh, you know, hindi ka agad-agad yung yung pagka-recover ng economy natin. No? Uh, like what I said, negative 10% for the first nine negative. months. Pero ang maganda dyan, simula nung ano, second quarter natin, which was from April to to uh, June, nung mm-hmm. also the ECQ na lockdown na talagang nag-ano tayo ng lockdown, every month or every quarter, nag-improve na economy natin. So yes, mm-hmm. totoo yan. The economic uh, levels natin, nag-expand na ulit. Pero mabagal pa rin. Ano kasi medyo hirap pa rin. Hirap pa rin. Pero at least, so, maangat tayo paunti-unti. Oo. 
umaangat tayo pa konti, pa konti na tayo, pero hindi pa rin ganun kabilis para mabawi mo yung yung ano natin, yung nawala nung ano, nung nung cup ng lockdown, uh, sir. In the first three months of the, ano, the, the pandemic. No? So, hello? Yeah. Um, nagka, nagkakaroon ng positive, ano, kumbaga parang green shoots ang tawag nila, o tanto, green shoots, di ba? Mm-hmm. Uh, positive, ano na. Uh, but, Tuloy-tuloy pa rin ito sana, hopefully in 2021. But let me just manage expectations no, ng mga nakikinig sa atin. Yes, yes, so, yes. Oh, oh. Next year, hindi tayo pa makakabalik. Hindi pa tayo pabalik sa pre-COVID levels natin. No? Okay. In terms of the economic activity or level of economic activity and growth. Um, yung GDP natin, all-time high tayo, 2019. No? And of course, thanks to the private sector and the government, no? Uh, ang dami eh. Ganda sana nung nangyayari nung 2019, Arman, Joby, no? Stock oh, market natin. Oo eh. Yung investments natin, malakas. Yung infrastructure build, build, build program ng government, tuloy-tuloy. Mm-hmm. Um, in-upgrade tayo to a single A credit rating by the Japan Credit Rating Agency. That's the first time na single A tayo. Mm-hmm. We're, a, we're a solid triple B credit, no? Um, meaning, Uh, I mean, ang ganda ng macroeconomic fundamentals and then yung BPO natin nag-grow, yung tourism, uh, etc. etc. No? But, you know, It's because of the pandemic, that's exactly. And maraming mga OF na yung mga kababae. Yes. Na maraming sir na naapektuhan talaga. Naapektuhan sila. Especially uh, OFW uh, talaga kasi nag-uwian yeah. din, sir. Kaya exactly. talaga bumagsak. Tama oh, bakod. Oh. So, ngayon, bumabawi na tayo ng konti. No? So, mm. Nadidinig mga medyo uh, yung mga ibang kababayan natin, parang pina- pinapabalik na sila sa kanilang ano, yung trabaho, yung mga ibang ano. Not all, no? but yung mga konting opportunities na to, to work uh, abroad. No? Pero I think it will take at least, siguro by, the, by late 2022, siguro after the 2022 elections mid, um, in May, siguro... Mm-hmm. Yung crisis ato would still last in the next 18 months pa. So that means up to the mid up to mid 2022 yung ating recovery. And by the second half of 2022, that's the only time we can actually go to uh, say that you know we're fully recovered from the crisis of uh, this pandemic, uh, economic driven crisis natin. 